Hi guys, welcome to the new video in the Linux tutorial series. In this video, we are going to discuss the file called uh, the bash rc file. So this file is present in the home directory, and in the home directory, so the dot x beginning bash rc file is present. So why? What is this file? So this file you can think of like a script file that will always execute or that will always run when you open your terminal every time. So whenever you open your terminal, it will uh, run this file. And the use of file is this: we can create variables. We can like uh, write any command that we always want to run when the terminal will open. We can define the functions. Functions in sense, if you know any programming languages, we have the concept of functions here. We can define the functions here. Don't be scared of the functions in the programming language. So defining function here here is very simple. If you uh, with me. In the last few days, and you uh, go through all my videos of commands and everything. It's very easy for you. And uh, we can do multiple things. Like we can create alias and this file. So let's see one by one thing. If I do, let me show you the location first. So if you see here, your bash rc file will be on. Here, see, this is the bash rc file. Okay, now if I do echo and dollar uh, x, let's say it's giving it's giving me nothing because in x we don't have anything. Okay, now if I close the terminal and open the terminal again, okay, again if I do echo, okay, dollar x, nothing again, and if I set x equals to five. Now if I do equal dollar x, it's showing me five. But if I exit now and open the terminal back and then again do equal dollar x, that x value will again gone. So if I want some variable to be have always a value of this and this, and uh, always like I don't need to define again and again, then we can use bash rc file. This is the best use case of bash rc file. So. Let me go to the end of the file, and here I can write it like x equals to five. Okay. And uh, now, if I do echo dollar x, see five is here. Even though if I exit the terminal and open the terminal back, and even though I will do echo dollar x, I will get five because every time when we are opening a shell or terminal, that in the background the bash rc file is running. And that is setting a value x equals to five. How I can prove you is, let me open bash rc file again. And if I go and write command called date or cal, and if I save this file and exit this terminal, so now what we can expect is, whenever we open a new terminal, bash rc file will run in the background, and cal command is written in that file. So that means. We will see the output of cal command. See, yeah, we are able to see the output of cal command. That is the first use case of bash rc file. Let me remove these two things. Now, the third thing uh, of the use of bash rc file is we can define a variable that we already discussed. We can write any command that we want always to run when the terminal start or whenever we open a new terminal. The third thing we can see is setting up an aliases. Okay, now if I do D, nothing is here. C, nothing. D, C, nothing. Sorry, D, C is another uh, command. If I do D, D again, sorry, it's a command. My my mistake. If I do S, S, okay. Okay, D and C we can take in action. So nothing is here. And if I do bash R C file again, if I open this file and I can set up an alias. As you all know, in the last video we discussed how to set alias. Alias keyword we have to write, okay? And then name D and date. Same again. I am setting up another alias that is for cal command, and the reference of cal is C. Now if I do D, C again not found. That means bash rc file run already when we open this new terminal, and after opening this new terminal, then we set up an uh, The keywords or the aliases in bash rc file. So what does it means is bash rc file 
will only run once we start a terminal okay and after starting a terminal if we done some changes after the terminal is uh, currently opened up then it will not reflect in the current terminal session okay now if you want to update bash rc file either we can do close the terminal and open it again this is the one way second we have a source command source then dot bash rc file so source will also you can think of sources like closing a terminal in the background and open it again new one so source dot bash rc okay now if i do d c c it's coming up even if i do exit and open the terminal again it will see d and c now the fourth use case we can do in the bash rc file is let me remove this nothing is here in this file what we can do is let's say i want to check my today's date so i want to define a function for this so if i call a function from here it's saying today command not found why because in bash rc file we don't have any function for it so if i do it and let me tell you one second let me tell you the syntax of the function definition in bash rc so it's very easy what we have to do is we have to write a function name then to tell a uh, bash script or uh, the bash rcl that this is a function this parenthesis then this opening parenthesis or opening curly braces to tell after whatever after this uh, curly or uh, parenthesis sorry curly braces i will write that will be a part of function so let's say i am writing date or cal so we can write command 1 command 2 till command n we can write and we can write some logical expressions and then close close means function is closed so till here this is one function why ending parenthesis is necessary let's say i want to define another function that is function 2 again curly braces parenthesis sorry then curly braces start definition of function and curly braces close so this and will tell that this first function and add here okay that's why this are necessary to write uh, this open and uh, close uh, curly braces similarly this is one way we can write in this way as a command one semicolon command two you know after semicolon like we can run multiple command together so this is how you can write multiple things okay mm -hmm. let me show it to you so what i am defining is i am defining today date okay and then space this parenthesis curly braces start then i am writing echo today date is now let's see what will happen if we just run this up okay i am saving this and i am writing today's date as you all expect error then we have to do source bash rc now if i do today's date so it printing as it is but it's not printing the today's date why because all you know you all are with me echo will print as it is whatever we give in the front of echo so what i can write in this is this echo and if you want to run the command with echo how you will run that i already explained you in the echo session but here i am giving you just brief echo date it's printing as it is then this tilted symbols are basically what you have to do is this not this 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 is a uh, some uh, quotes on the top of the tab so you have to write your command name in between that will run your command okay and if i open the bash rc file now so today's date is then space the quotes date and done now again source bash rc because i updated the code okay that is done and calling a function write a function name see it's giving me today's date same what we can do is 
we can create multiple functions and we can call the function from the terminal let's say i want to create a function that will change my create the directory and change the directory also okay if you see here there is no folder with the name called mkcd see nothing is here so what i am doing is i am going to bash rc file and i am editing this function only I am writing mkcd as a name that means make directory and change directory and what we have to do is I can write mkdir then we can use hyphen p as an option of mkdir then double quotes and dollar uh, one what this is I will explain you in a minute and dollar one again okay so if you know a little bit about any programming function there are two type of function that is uh, the parameter less and another is parameter base so while calling a function if you write only the function name let's say this so you are not passing any argument in the front of function that means only you are calling the function directly but if you find like if you pass percentage m so this is argument so this argument will go to the function and in the function Parenthesis, this argument will store in some internal values. Let's say in x, we are not passing a name by defining a function, but you can think of it storing in some predefined variable inside this parenthesis. Let's say x or let's say 1. So, whatever the first argument we are passing after calling this function, that will store always in 1. And if, if you know you want to print a variable in Linux, you have to use dollar and then variable name. Let's say let me show it to you. If I do echo x and x equals to 5, this is variable, but in the echo, it's showing me x. But if I want to see a value of x, then dollar $x. See, it's showing me 5. Same if I do in this form, again 5. That's what the meaning of that function. So, dollar $1 is the first. 1 means the first argument we are passing when we are calling this mkcd function. Okay, now to update this shell source bash rc and if you see ls grab we don't have any folder with the name mkcd pwd is slash root but if I call the function mkcd as an argument called mkcd if I do pwd now see I automatically landed up in the mkcd before I am in root if I go back and if I run the same command, see this is created. And if you want to see the long list of MKCD, it's created, but no files are created inside this. So that's how we can use uh, the bash RC file to define the variables, write command, create functions, aliases, multiple things we can do. If you know, if you are with me from last few days, 40 to 50 days, I am teaching this Linux tutorial. So, if you know multiple commands, you can combine them together and uh, create a script and call them from a bash RC file. So, this is all about this session. Let's meet in the next more exciting videos. If you like the if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any doubts, you can post your doubts in the comment box or reach out to me on LinkedIn. Thank you.